Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Surfer's Journey. Today's video is all about how we can refine the basic skills that we need to learn how to surf. For most of us out there, we just want to get out there and surf. All we want to do is catch a wave, stand up and go straight because we want to feel what it's like to surf. This video is going to show you exactly how you can do that and make those small adjustments so you have more success. And guys, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel now so you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and tutorials. So in this video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. And I'm gonna take you out into the surf with me and I'm gonna to chat to you about some things to focus on and how they'll ultimately help you have more success. All right guys, so I'm ready. I've got my board, which is appropriate for the kind of skill set that I'm at. I want a big long board when we're learning. Either a long board or a foamy is gonna be pretty perfect. It's buoyant, it's gonna be easy to catch waves, and nice and stable once we actually get up, and really easy to paddle. So before I go out, I need to make sure I've got a few things. One is that what I'm wearing is appropriate for the conditions, and this wetsuit and my booties is gonna be appropriate for this pretty cold day. I've got a leg rope attached to my board. That's gonna make sure that if I fall off, my board's not gonna run away and hit someone. And then lastly, I'm gonna put wax on the board. This is gonna give me a sticky platform to stand on and help me stay on the board once I actually get up and riding. When you're applying wax, you just wanna make sure that you don't go too far over the rails, you don't need to, but go as far back or as far up front as you want. Now that that's all done, it's time to get out there, so let's go. So now I'm down at the beach, I'm about to paddle out. I've got to make sure I put my leg rope on, and I'm ready to go. Now on the way out, we want to make sure that the nose is facing out to sea. That means that I can lift the nose up like this, and any oncoming wave will go straight underneath. Now we want to make sure that we're comfortable with our paddling position so that when we get on the board we know how to paddle and where it's comfortable for us. With your paddling position, you don't want to be too far forward or the nose will go under the water. And if you're too far back, it'll be up in the air. We want to be somewhere in between. And you want that stringer of the board to be down the middle of your chest. That way you're centered and the board won't rock from left to right. So like I said guys, we want to be waist deep. And what we're looking for that foamy white water broken wave. And I've seen the wave I want, so I'm gonna turn around and give myself enough time to get into position and catch this wave. So I'm gonna jump on in my correct paddling position and paddle. And initially, just catch the wave on your belly. Get used to what it feels like to actually be pushed along by a wave. And once you're comfortable with that, then later you can try and stand up. So once that you feel that the wave is pushing you along, then you want to get ready to pop up. So the hands go underneath your shoulders on the deck of the board. Lift your chest up and then jump up and you want both your feet to land on the board, about shoulder width apart, and you want your feet to be in the center of the board so that that stringer is going in the middle of your feet. And then stay low and keep your arms up like this. By having your arms up like this, you'll have a bit more control. And by squatting low, you're gonna have more control with that lower center of gravity. And as you get better, you can start to stand up and extend a bit more. Once you're comfortable catching white water waves and being able to pop up, well the next step is to get out the back and practice catching an unbroken wave like this. Once you get to this point, surfing becomes a totally different experience. You go so much faster when you're on a wave and the feeling is hard to beat. To 
catch an unbroken wave, you want to be looking and make sure you're in the right position. So I've seen the wave coming that I want and I'm going to turn and start paddling so that I give myself enough time to generate speed and momentum to actually catch that wave. And then once I feel the waves pushing me along, I want to stand up as fast as I can. And you may have noticed that I paddled in with my board on a bit of an angle. This makes it easier to make the drop. If you went straight ahead, sometimes it's easier to nosedive. Once you can stand up and ride a longer wave, the next thing you want to start trying is turning your board like this. And you can start by making small changes of direction by simply looking and pointing to where you want to go. Do this gently and you'll find that the changes happen slowly, but that's okay initially. Once you get used to that, you can start to push harder as time goes on. In this example, you can see how every time I go to turn, you can see that weight transition from my heels to my toes and so on. And that all starts by looking and pointing. If you try and make a direction change too quickly, sometimes you might find that you lose your balance a little bit. So remember, just take it slow to start off with and you'll find that you get used to that feeling of turning your board. I've got other videos about how to start turning, so I'll put the links to those in the description below. Another skill that you want to learn once you actually can get out the back is to sit on your board like this. By being in this position, I'm able to make quick changes of where I'm going. So I've spotted a wave, I'm going to quickly sit on and pivot, which is going to allow me to catch waves with limited time getting ready for it. Another benefit of sitting on your board is that you're elevated, so you have a better view of the waves that are coming, and you can position yourself accordingly. To do this, you simply just sit on the board and squeeze it tight with your legs. It'll take some practice, but it's very beneficial and worth dedicating your time to. You might also find that if you're surfing a longboard, that your feet start to go up the board like this. You might do that to get your weight forward on the board on fat, flat sections like this, just to help keep momentum. And then you can shuffle your feet back when you want to try and turn that surfboard. Remember that time in the water is key. That's the only way you're going to be able to improve these skills. But by knowing how to improve them and what to work on, you know what you need to focus on when you're actually out in the water. If you want to know more about how to actually get out the back and what methods and techniques we can use to do that, or you want to know how to progress from that beginner surfboard when you're ready, well, you can have a look at some more videos in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. I hope that if you've been trying to surf and you're trying to learn, but you've been having some issues, that this video will clear things up for you and you'll have more success next time you go surfing. Remember to like the video and comment below to let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks guys.